And look who the Allegheny Journal has found. Tammy Scruggs Duncan, the executive director of the Allegheny Highlands Arts Council. And Tammy's here to join us to talk about what's going to happen this season for your program. And it, Tammy, I have to admit, looking over it, it does look impressive. Thank you. Uh, we're really excited. Uh, you know, we were shuttered for a couple of years um, because of you know, COVID. Um, so it, it was hard on all performing arts agencies, uh, anybody that was presenting, because, the, you know, they shut us down. But um, we survived the pandemic. That's the great news. Uh, it wasn't Always, I wasn't always certain that was going to happen, but we have, and we are back actually with a much more robust season than we've had in, in many, many years. Rock, jazz, I mean, you've got the We full... do. I've got eight main events, you know, and, and we'll have our, our uh, community events as well, but we are opening uh, in about two weeks with, on, and, and this date was wrong in this brochure. Uh, it, you may have a brochure that says that it was November the 18th, but it's not. The journal uh, never makes any mistakes like that. You know, we never make date Well, um, I should have had Nancy Moga as my proofreader because if I had, it would not yes. have slipped past yes. her. But anyway, the actual date is, this, is Thursday, two weeks from now, Thursday, November the 17th. So and, and there's going to be some rocking. Well, Neil Berg, who has been here so many times with his uh, Broadway sh performers, came last spring uh, with fifty with his fifty years of rock and roll, and it was a, a gangbuster show. I mean, it was uh, people begged for us to bring it back, so um, that's what we're going to open with the fifty years of rock and roll part two, uh, with Neil Berg and his gang, and uh, we are offering a, a discount. You know, all these high school. Uh, classes have had their big reunions this fall and so each each like Clifton Forge alumni the Covington Alumni Association the Allegheny Colt uh, they, they had reunion also so we're all offering all of them a discount uh, that they can get a special price to come and relive their youth because that's what they say about this show is it'll make you feel like you're 18 again and what's really cool is you can buy a season ticket to all of us you can and that's what's going on right now. This is shameless advertising. We are shameless. selling this entire season, all eight events, and we purposely, uh, our season tickets had been $95 for many years. And, um, and we, we would usually present five events. But we know that the, with the economic downturn and what people have been through, we just deliberately kept our ticket prices where they were, even though there are eight events. Also, if you buy the whole season, which we'll talk about what's in the season, but if you buy the whole season and you're a season subscriber, uh, you'll get two free passes to any, any event. Oh. So you can bring your friends. That sounds like a great deal. And before we get into more detail, how do people go about buying these tickets? Well, they can call 962 Arts, and that will ring right here. And, or uh, go to the website, which is Arts for All, number Allegheny four, Highlands, number four. the Digit 4. That's our motto, Arts for All, the Digit 4, at AlleghenyHighlands.com. And you can buy the whole season. Um, the, the rock and roll show will get us kicked off with a lot of spirit and, and fun, but then we go straight to the traditional favorite, which is the Roanoke Symphony Holiday Pops. And that's always the first Monday in December. And that's always been big, very well attended. Very well attended. Well, David Wiley just comes over here and he waves his wand and he works his magic. Yeah. And, and the crowd just loves it. They always have. We have the sing-along and, and, and they bring a wonderful soloist. And so that's going to be a great holiday event, a great way to kick off the season on December the 5th. And then... Um, we're doing a birthday party because once we get into 2023, the Arts Council will be 70 years old. Older than we are, Jerry. <laughs> older than you are, Tammy. <laughs> I love working for an organization that is older than I am. But we're going to have like a, a big band show uh, up at the ballroom at the Masonic and uh, have a birthday party. And, you know, one thing I've noticed about your events is some will be at Kerfman Hall, some at the historic Masonic Theater. 
one at the farm at Glen Haven. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you're, you know, making all the Spreading major venues. Spreading it around. Uh, we'll, we will be in the um, ballroom on January 14th with the big band show. And then we're going to be down in the Tom Dean Underground a few weeks later on February 3rd with a fabulous, he's an improvisational jazz trumpet player. And it's going to be very uh, jazz club-ish there in the in the bar. perfect venue for that. It is. Yeah. And, and then uh, everybody's favorite, uh, the American Spiritual Ensemble has has been here many times, and so we're bringing them back on February the twenty sixth, and they'll be back up at Kerfman, where they their usual venue. Um, uh, then of course the Celtic event is always so popular, and we do that at the Masonic Theater. But this year it's Rhythm of the Dance. They've, it's probably been about five years since they've been here, and we were able to get them with the, all the fiddle playing and the musicians, the singers, and then the step dancers, and all that's going to happen down there on the 21st of March. Is this a labor of love, or is it a labor to put all this together? I mean, conceiving yes. all of this, yeah, both. Yes, huh? yes, okay. yes. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it's an impressive array of events, admittedly. Well, then we well, then we will go out to the farm at Glenhaven with a, a whole, totally different show. There's this this guy Bill Grice, is a dead ringer for James Taylor, <laughs> and I saw him at the Lincoln Theater uh, down in Marion, and he, it was such a peaceful, uh, stress free, just James Taylor on a stool with his acoustic guitar. It was a lovely show, and I think that the farm at Glenhaven is going to be a good out there in the barn will be a good place for that. Yeah. Um, and then we close the season with uh, Richmond Ballet, and they're going to do a repertory show at the Masonic. Uh, so we've got classical, we've got a little something little for everyone. Something for everyone. Okay, sound once again impressive show. And tell the folks one more time, phone number and how they buy season tickets. Okay, you can get season tickets at Arts for for All Allegheny Highlands dot com or by calling 540-962-ARTS, 962-2787. We hope that you'll join Cami and scores of others to enjoy this great series. It's easy to get season tickets, support your local um, arts council. And Tammy, once again, good to see you. Thank you. Well, we'll come back sometime and I'll tell you what's going on with our, all of our education programs. Good. Right now, and, and we have Nancy Moga, who's a, a valued board member and uh, also serves on the Education Committee. Uh, yes, I've been attending arts performances for 38 years, and um, there's always a wonderful season. It's a great variety. I think something that's really nice that the Arts Council does is that um, we provide programming for youth in the schools. And there's something planned for children at every age level. It is. This year uh, we have a very hearty uh, young people series. Actually, we, re we renamed our series last year when we lost our matriarch. So it, it is now called the Sarah Lou Snyder School Performance Series because she actually began the program back in 1978. Yes. Um, originally we went to... Um, Covington High School or one of the high schools and we bust the youth into mm -hmm. the programs and now uh, with time on task for, for teachers and, and children in, in schools it's nice that many of the programs come to them in their buildings so that's real exciting and it's always a great opportunity for children to have exposure to different kinds of music and the arts. I appreciate you doing that. Well we we're going to not just bring it to the, to the schools. We have a lot coming into the schools, but like all the band, all music students get free tickets to the Holiday Pops to come in here, to come to our venue and hear the symphony. Uh, we're going to have, when the American Spiritual Ensemble comes here, uh, the choirs, both the, all the adult community choirs and the high school choirs are going to perform one number with the American Spiritual Ensemble. Uh, Rhythm of the Dance is going to do a performance just for the middle schoolers, and we're going to bring those two, the county and city middle schools, together so that they can get used to the, what's coming down the road, and they're going to have a, a joint performance of uh, the National Dance Company of Ireland. Uh, there's a songwriting workshop, a playwriting workshop, uh, we, and then the Richmond Ballet is going to do lecture demos for the, for the little 
um, elementary school children. We really do have something for everybody because we feel like that it's important for them to, for the arts to become part of their fabric of their life. You know, it's wonderful that the community offers this for children. I've worked in several other school systems and this doesn't happen everywhere. So I'm proud to be a member of the Allegheny Highlands um, Arts Council. Well, and we're thrilled to have you.